Hi, I'm artist Jenny Floravita and welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to be showing you a plumeria painting that I worked on. This is a large painting. It's done on watercolor paper that is 22 by 28 inches. This painting was done over several sessions and took many hours to complete. And by the end of the video, you're gonna see the completed painting. The weather was beautiful, so I thought I would paint outside and I, I really loved the contrast of the shadows and the palms swaying over. And I thought that, that, that this would be a beautiful backdrop to begin this painting on. And it was, I really enjoyed this afternoon. With this plumeria painting, what I decided to do was do the underpainting part of it first. And I'm working in the flowers. I'm pretty much painting the shadows. I'm painting the form. There's at least another two or three hours where I didn't film. There was just a lot of intense work to do and filming a large painting is different than filming a small painting like I have been doing with my other YouTube videos. So I took a little bit of a break. I progressed really far into this piece, but as you can see, I did the underpainting first, and then I glazed color over it. And now I'm at the part where I'd like to talk about the color, and I wanna show you my palette. My palette is usually in a state of different colors being mixed. I, I enjoy painting with this sort of chaos. This jar of water, I have been using this jar for almost my entire life. It's sentimental. It's just part of my routine. I love it. It dates back to my days in growing up in the San Francisco Bay Area, so hope it never breaks. A lot of the shadows in this plumeria painting were done with grays. It's always good to stop for a cup of tea because I'm gonna start something tough. Here I'm trying to decide what am I going to paint the background colors with. Am I going to do a really light gray? Am I gonna do a little bit of a purple? And I've really fallen in love with phthalo blue and a cobalt blue. And specifically, I love this, phthalo, this cobalt blue with a touch of phthalo blue. And the phthalo blue is from Daniel Smith and I just really love it. I've gotta decide, am I gonna mix a little bit of Windsor Violet in? I could do the background color any which way. There's different ways that I could go, but I just, I really love color. And this is how I mix background colors. Uh, I like to do it in a separate cup because this is not a small painting. This is kind of a larger painting and when I start to put the color down on the paper, I need to have a lot of paint mixed. And this goes back to me liking to, to work with large tubes of paint because my larger paintings that I do in watercolor, I just you just need to be prepared. So I'm trying a, a little bit of an in-between color here and I'm adding more paint just right into the cup because I know from experience that this isn't gonna be quite enough. So, and I'm good, I'm good with that. I'm gonna add a little bit of, of the Windsor Violet to cool it down. And I find that turning the paper around at this point is probably a smart idea. And I'm discovering quickly that it's not in the lens, it's not in my camera lens very well. So I'm gonna make a quick adjustment for you here. You know, I'm gonna start this background and it's a little bit of chaos. And there's two ways I could have done it. I could have tried to wet the entire area. But the area is going to start drying immediately because I live in kind of a dry climate. California's dry and it's um, summertime, so it's it's not going to be wet evenly. So I'm just deciding to do a wet on dry and just go with it. I'm using a flat brush because this is going to allow me to get nice lines around my plumeria leaves, which are soft, and I need those to be real, really defined. I don't want to get I don't want to get background color on. On the white so that's working out really well 
And part of doing the painting here, um, I'm going to switch brushes a few times just to get the right brush. And with a flat edge, you can tilt it up and and maneuver the edge. And I'm doing that, and that's what I wanted to show you the the lines that you can make. So you don't have to do the these small in between sections with with small brushes. I like to use as large of a brush as I can. Here I switch to a little bit smaller of a brush just because the spaces are getting more confined and they're more triangular. But in general, you're gonna get a little bit more of a free flow. You're gonna get a little bit more natural feel if you're gonna use it if you use a larger brush. I think that's that's the way to go. I'm gonna to come to an end quickly with this first layer, but I can tell you I'm gonna to have to make a decision in it, and I'm gonna to decide to do one more layer of background color just because I'm so in love with this color and it's just color makes me so happy and watercolor paint it dries a little bit lighter than it looks when it's on the paper wet and I just want to give just a little bit more richness and I want to give a little bit more color depth right at the edge of the flowers and the way that I'm going to determine this is that I'm literally going to stand my painting back and look at it for a while and in fact, I, I did this second round of color on a different day. What I love about this blue combination is that it gives it a really nice, really, really beautiful Hawaiian afternoon color. It's just such a nice, happy color. I just love it. And that's, I guess that's why I decided not to go with the really light gray because I felt like that was just a little bit more of an overcast day. So um, I loved that color combination as well. Just So now it's time to do the last bit of the leaves and I'm going to grab different colors for my palette and I'll talk more about leaves in, in other paintings where maybe that's just what I'm focusing on but this, this large painting here. I think, I think the point of this video is to show you how a large painting can come together in a number of of hours and in a number of sittings and it's all about layering and here I'm gonna go back and do some more detail it's I'm basically doing a little bit of wet on dry and I'm just gonna I'm gonna add texture and crazy marks and then you, I'll stand back and I'll see how the leaves look and I'm working for contrast I want to keep everything soft and natural because the plumeria is a very soft color. I mean, it's a soft flower, but I really want everything to just have just a really natural feel. I want everything to be lit up by the sun. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. I have a VIP art newsletter if you would like to, to receive notifications of new videos and, and if you'd like to see new, new works of art. You can look at my websites below and if you would like to learn watercolor painting or oil painting under me, feel free to send me, send me a message and let me know and I will put you on a short list for when I off, offer lessons. Thank you and until next time, see you soon.